Welcome! Well, in this video we're going to look at how to share data between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree. Now in a previous video we saw how to match up data and if you recall matching up is the first step towards doing anything with a person in Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree. Matching up is where we say, hey, here's John Smith in our Roots Magic file, and this is that same John Smith in Family Search Family Tree. Once you have that match uh, made, you can do fun stuff like sharing data. And by sharing data, I mean being able to copy data between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree. So Family Search Family Tree has uh, a birth date that you don't have, you can copy that into your file. If you have a child that Family Search doesn't have, you can copy it into their system. Okay, so how do we actually do this sh uh, sharing of data? Well, if you look on the main screen, we have these icons, the little trees next to each name. Now, the color of the tree tells you if the person has been matched up or not. If the tree is gray, the person is not matched up. You cannot share data for that person. But if the tree is blue, that means that they are matched up and you are good to go. So how do, if we look at our screen, we have a lot of uh, blue trees here and a few grays, people that still aren't matched up. Let's say that I want to share data for William Booth. All I need to do is click on his tree, that blue tree, and this comes up. We'll give it a second while it is loading the information from Family Search. And here we go. It's showing the information side by side. So I can see what Roots Magic, what I have in my file, is on the left. And what Family Search has about uh, William Booth is right here on the right hand side. And just like we had on the match screen, we had those colors. We have them right here to tell us how well the information agrees with each other. So green means it's an exact or almost exact match. Yellow means it's close. And if you see any red, that means that the information does not agree at all. Okay, so I don't see any red. So this is a pretty good match between the two. Um, but this is where I can actually start sharing data between the two. For example, I'll look right here. I've got this birth on the family search side, which I don't have on the roots magic side. Now, granted, in honesty, this is a um, this is just a estimated birth which someone put in there. There pr really probably wasn't any actual record for it, so I can just click. But if I want to copy it into my file, I click on this checkbox. This little menu pops up says, what do you want to do with this fact? I can add it as a new event in Roots Magic, or I can remove this event from Family Search. That's something new in Family Search Family Tree that you couldn't do before. Well, I want to add this as a new event in Roots Magic, so I just select that and bam, there I go. That birth was copied over from Family Search into Roots Magic. Now, looking here, I like my christening date better than the christening that uh, family search has because it's obvious some date is messed up here. There's no spaces here, and even the place is a little, uh, you know, unstandard. So I'm going to click on christening, and it says, What do you want to do with this fact? And I say, I want to replace this date, uh, what family search has with what I have. And down here, I have the opportunity to type why I think that information is correct. And I'm going to say um, this is just uh, just standardized date and place. And I'll click OK. And now this is copying that christening, replacing what Family Search fa Family Tree has with what I have. And there we go. There's our christening over there. And if I click on this little I for more details, um, it gives me the standardized date and place. That's the reason that I typed in why it's valid. And down here is my email address. So other people looking at it can contact me. Okay, uh, not only do, can I share events, but I can also share family members. So let's say I had a child 
that Family Search didn't have. So here's Richard. I can click on the tree next to Richard, and I can add him as a new child to William B. Booth and Jane Rostron over in Family Search, or I could add him as just completely new child. I'm not going to do that because he's actually already in the system. What I can do on the Family Search side is click on that little gray tree and match him up with my Richard Booth. Okay. Um, but I could just as easily click on, say, James and say I want to add him as a new new uh, child in a family over on uh, in Roots Magic. Okay. Well, uh, that is basically how you share data between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree.